Facebook Live. It's me, Angelina, again with Fun with Science, a Healthy Hand Center. Today, you guys, it's once again the second Thursday. That's the only reason you guys send me, okay? This experiment today, you guys, is a sensory experiment, all right? So, this is basically going more towards a relaxation type experiment, all right? So if you at home and you frustrated or you just need to mellow out at the end of the day, this experiment here, which is Ocean in a Bottle, it's actually a good visual as well as a soothing because as you shake the bottle back and forth, you feel the movement of the water as if you are in the ocean, all right? So for this experiment, you guys, the only thing we would need is water, cooking oil, duct tape, plumber's tape, blue food coloring, a glass or plastic bottle, a funnel, scissors, and if you get some just laying around, you can find some at the store, use little like seashells or glitter or small fish like you're actually in the ocean, okay? So you don't have to just use cooking oil, you can use baby oil, okay? I'm leaning more towards baby oil because it's clearer than vegetable oil or corn oil, okay? And people that have been to the sea, the water is really clear, not all yellowish, fuzziest, okay? So, since it's not a lot of messy stuff, I don't have to worry about getting messed up today, all right? <laughs> so I have all of my materials I need with me today. Once again, I searched everywhere. I could not find small fish. I could not find seashells. So, I got the little jewels that goes in the bottom of the fish tank. So, I got a little bling bling here. So, we go bling bling it, okay? And, of course, you guys can't see the bottle. I used a Voss bottle, okay? It's not glass. It's plastic. But the mouth is big enough so I can get things in, all right? So, we're going to start off. You actually should fill the bottle with water, okay? Only about a third of the way. Once again, I don't measure, so I'm just going to say about a third will be about, hmm, I'm going to call it about, hmm, about here. If you guys think this is a third, give me a thumbs up. About a third? About a third? We gonna guess about a third? About a third? Okay, we gonna go with about a third, okay? So you fill the water bottle about a third of the way, okay? You add food coloring. Of course, we know the ocean is blue. If you see a red ocean, run the other way. If you see a yellow ocean, really run the other way, okay? Most oceans are blue, okay? So we are just going to add a few drops of blue food coloring. One, two, I'm going to add three, okay? Just swish it around a little bit to get the coloring. See how dark the water went, okay? This is going to be dark, dark, dark water, okay? So then, it says you stir the water, mix the food coloring. Good that. You use the funnel, you guys, to pour the water solution into a glass plastic bottle. So, instead of doing that step with the extra bottle, I just did the main bottle right here, okay? You gotta add the small fish or whatever objects you're gonna use, all right? So me, I'm using the bling bling diamonds. So I'm just gonna put a couple of bling bling diamonds and as you see, it's really, really dark, right? Yeah. So since it's dark, I'm gonna start over again and not put as many dark drops in there of the, full color, of the water, okay? A full, a full color. So, got the third water again. This time I'm only gonna use one drop, okay? Then that make it a little bit better where we can actually see the jewels. Yeah, that looks about right. So again, I'm gonna use my bling bling jewels. I'm gonna put a yellow in, a pink in, a neon orange. I think I might put a couple of more than just three, okay? So I'll put two of each color in, of course. And what did I put in there? Pink, two greens, two orange. I'm missing a pink. All right, so I got my jewels in, okay, you guys? 
And then it says, use the funnel, again, slowly pouring the baby oil, okay, or cooking oil into the water. Mm -hmm. So again, this time I am gonna use the funnel. I am gonna use the funnel, you guys, okay? So pour it in because I don't want to over pour or miss pour. And look, with this you really can't miss pour. I forgot baby oil do have the little safety thing, you know. So I really don't have to use a funnel. I can just literally slowly pour it, okay. Um, pour it on the side instead of straight into the water. I'm gonna pour it sideways. Pour it on the side. And if you guys see the bubbles, okay, you see the bubbles are forming because you have the oil. Okay. Yeah, this is a lot of oil, but it calls for the oil to be filled. So cooking oil or baby oil, you fill it all the way up to the top of the bottle, you guys, okay? Oh, that's cool. Fill that's it all so the way up. Cool. You gotta go up to the okay. top because you don't want any bubbles in there, okay? That defeats the illusion, right? Uh -huh. So I'm gonna take it all the way to the top. Okay. So, if you guys use baby oil, you will know you will use about this much for this size bottle, okay? Now, you guys, if y'all remember, oops, wrong thing, <laughs> my fault. If you guys remember, um, a little while ago I did a liquid density experiment, okay? And this is basically the same thing. As you see, you have the water on the bottom, and since the oil is on top, oil and water does not mix. It separates, okay? And as you see, what? We got three of the diamonds floating on top and three at the bottom, okay? So, we use the funnel to pull the baby oil in there. Um, then it says, use the plumber's tape. Okay, so I didn't know what plumber's tape was, so when I went to Walmart, the guy told me this thread seal tape, it's the same as plumber's tape, so I'm going to trust him, okay, so I'm guessing this is plumber's tape. So use the plumber's tape to put uh, on the rim of the bottle to ensure the water and oil won't leak, okay. So I'm guessing I put it like this, really don't know you guys, once again. I'm just guessing. He said this plumber's tape. I'm going to go with what he said. Okay? So forgive me, forgive me, forgive me for not knowing. So we're putting the plumber's tape around. I'm putting it all the way over, all the way around, just so I can get a nice seal, okay? You might not need to use as much as I'm using if you use real plumber's tape. You know, somebody probably tell you what plumber's tape is. But I am just going to go as much as possible. And I'm gonna just come around a little bit at the top, okay? And I tore it off and I broke it off and I cut it off, so that's where we go. So it says, you use the plumber's tape to put on the rim of the bottle to ensure the water and oil makes you won't leak out, okay? Put the top back on. So the plumber's tape is actually supposed to make the grooves of the bottle, the top of the bottle, and this be staying tight, I guess. So I am just going to screw it up, screw it on like they say it, and it's really tight, okay? It's really tight. So you guys can't feel it, but if you see, if I had fish, it'd look much cooler as well. You can see the motion of the water, the bubbles, like a wave. Imagine a wave hitting the rocks. And as it's hitting the rocks, you see it uh, move itself back, go back and forth, go back and forth. Even if you just want to turn it upside down to get the little bubbly look to it, 
It's all sensory, okay? Wow, what I cool. would do if I was you guys to experiment a little bit more, try to put a light in here. You know, one of them um, lighted candles and see what happens, you know? Or you could put like, if you could find a fish, neon color fish, and actually Ooh. as water and the ocean mixes, 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 and it sits, you probably ain't gonna see bubbles like this on top, okay. but because you have the oil and the water mix, you have your own little sensory bottle. Now, if you can't find fish or little other animals, pretty animals of course, just cut some out or get some off the internet and tape them on the outside of your bottle, okay? If you tape them and just use your imagination, it'll look like they're actually swimming around in the ocean, okay? This is a good thing to have, like I say, when you stress or when you need to relax, okay? The water, you can feel it in your hands as it's going back and forth, all right? So if you're a person that have any type of like arthritis or you just need to have something moving with your hands, you need to be doing something with your fingers or need, you know, just take this and just go back and forth with it, okay? And of course, you're gonna have the bubbles on it. Now, to make sure, if you wanna make sure that it don't leak out, see, I did the tape real good because it ain't dropping out. But, just in case, you can take a piece of, uh, what's that, duct tape, okay? I'm using clear tape, all right? And just tape it around the top of the bottle, you guys. This is just for more secure and safety, okay? I say clear tape because you still wanna be able to see the water. You still wanna be able to see the color, okay? You don't want it to obstruct it at all. See? Now, if you decide to put glitter in here, be careful with glitter because as you know, the glitter will actually just mix with the baby oil and stick to it, okay? So. You guys can try this one at home, all right? Hold on. So, Facebook, I wanna thank you guys for joining me today with Fun With Science, okay? Next week is gonna be a bigger, more, next month, I'm sorry. Next month, we're gonna have a whole different experiment. It's not gonna be sensory. It's gonna be based more of electric, okay? I'm actually feeling more about what makes electricity not work more of what can be put together to make a bigger light okay or a bigger bolt or something electric so next month the second thursday facebook we're gonna do something with electricity okay once again facebook when you at home if you do this it's no mess so you ain't gotta worry about me coming and cleaning up because we didn't make a mess today all right as always, Facebook, have a nice, pleasant weekend. See you guys next month. I love you guys. Bye, Facebook.